Copper is an important element in the development of the world because it is widely used in many industries, transportation industry, electronics, and many other industries. This is one of the best thermal and electrical conductors. In particular, it is corrosion resistant, flexible, malleable, and can be recycled indefinitely. In addition, due to its antibacterial properties, it is used in hospitals. People have known how to use this metal thousands of years ago. Today with modern technology, people can exploit tens of millions of tons every year. Today, we visit a Mexican open pit copper mine. This is a vast area, previously studied by geologists during the exploration phase, who verified the existence of copper and other metals in the deposits. These steps or benches are about 15 meters high, each used for mining and to allow access for all vehicles involved in mine operations. After exploration and site clearance, engineers will calculate and drill holes to store explosives. The depth of these holes is 16 meters, equivalent to the height of a five-story building, and each hole contains a mixture of ammonium nitrate and diesel. Jobs like this require absolute precision and safety. They are only assigned to engineers with many years of experience. The explosives will be detonated en masse through an electronic device. The time between one explosion and another is about 2 milliseconds, thanks to the technology and designed explosion pattern. The explosive energy will break the rock below. Minimize the dispersion of material and dust after the explosion and when it is completely safe to enter the mine. Start by loading the scrap or have giant machines lift the material with large ladles and deposited trucks to take to various facilities for processing. The giant trucks, nearly 7 meters high and with a capacity of up to 400 tons, dramatically increase work efficiency. The material is sent to the cracks for crushing and screening. At the cracks, the crushed material to half an inch is sent to the crushing system, where its size will also be reduced. The crushers are metal cylinders that rotate continuously and inside there are steel balls that grind the material into powder. The resulting product is a paste or sludge that is transferred to the flotation cells. In flotation cells, various reagents are added as well as agitation and air injection to selectively separate the various metals present in the mineral slurry, lighter metals float to the top, heavier metals sink to the bottom, stopped by gravity, and a pulp called concentrated pulp is obtained. Copper this concentrate is passed through a thickener to remove as much water as possible, then during filtration, some of the remaining moisture is removed so that it ends up containing an average of only 10% moisture.
The smelting process of copper concentrate is melted in different stages until a metal product in sheet form called a copper anode is obtained which has a purity of 99% and is the raw material for the refining process and the In an oil refinery, an electrolysis process is carried out on copper anodes. Alternating with stainless steel cathodes, they are deposited in cells immersed in a dilute sulfuric acid solution. When current passes through, the anodes decompose to form copper sulfate electrolyte. The electrolyte, due to the same effect of electric current, also decomposes and releases copper that gradually deposits on the steel cathodes, forming a metallic layer on their surface, the cathodes are dried after 11 days, washed and then they layered these copper sheets called electrolytic or electro-refined copper cathodes, which were stacked and reflected for marketing and delivery. Next, let's go to beautiful Canada. There is a unique copper smelter here, and is the largest producer of copper and pressure metals in North America. This plant receives over 100 zero tons of recycled materials including any products that may contain copper or precious materials. The horn manufacturing process can process a variety of materials from obsolete printed circuit boards, to manufactured copper products, all of which contain copper, and precious materials once refined, they will produce new products, thus giving metals a new lease of life. Finally, we will visit one of the copper tube factories with modern and advanced technology. Chile is the world's largest copper producer, accounting for 27% of total global production. Manufactures refined copper, including copper anodes and scrap metal. China leads the way, accounting for 36% of the world's total refined output. Asia accounts for 69% of the world's copper usage, followed by Europe, 18%, and North America, 10%, China alone accounts for 50% of the world's copper demand. 